What's up Barber Department family? If you made it back to this video, I appreciate the support. This is your host, Fade Fade. If you are new to the channel, stick around for this video. And if you find it helpful, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell button so you can be notified every time I upload a new video. Before I forget, you can already see this is a mullet with a high taper and a crop top with a lot of texture. I started by setting my first guideline at a 45 degree angle to get rid of the C cup and to make this into the high taper that I want. To make this paper pop out, I also came back and used my full shaver right under the trimmer to take the stubble away. Remember, when using a full shaver, don't put any pressure into it. You're gonna avoid all the razor bumps because nobody likes those. Using my clipper with the lever open, I make a half inch section scooping out with short consistent strokes to make soft lines, not hard lines. The first step I'll take for this is to close my lever halfway, making my main focus on making the trimmer guideline softer. I'll proceed to close the lever a bit and depending on the hair texture, sometimes by this step I have the part finished, but now with this haircut I have to close the lever fully to take away the line. Also did some lever plate to put some detail into this taper and make it look 100. Proceeding into the next step, I'll slap a one guard with the lever open using a scoop out motion to create my next section. After that, you want to step down to a half guard to take away the one guard section using a lot of lever play and by that I mean opening and closing the lever as needed. The darker the area, the more you want to close the lever or stepping down to a lower guard if needed. For detail, I like using my shears to point cut simply because of the control that I have with them and I can hit certain spots plus it gives the tape a really good look. Without pushing up the line on top of the ear, I carefully make my outline and I know my client likes his neck untouched so I won't go past the top of the ear so I have to make sure that this area looks its best. I also see some dark spots that I decided to target with my thinner shears instead of my clippers and don't forget to comb the hair on top of the ear down to take out any longer hairs that may stick out. I find it very effective to use my thinner shears to take away any heavy or dark areas it just gives me a super clean look in the end. On this cut, the hair around the lineup seems to go to the right, so I make sure I comb the hair down before I put my trimmers to work. If you get clients like this with this same problem, make sure you consistently comb the hair down for a better result. already 
looks good naturally, but my client has light edges, so me and him decided to use some enhancements to make this cut look way better. Don't forget to come back with your straight razor and hit the enhancement one last time. Also use a brush to take away any other excess to avoid any dye rundown. To style the top I use level 3 styling powder for a dry natural look. Alright, this is the final result. Let me know what you think of this cut, if it's hot or not. I'm here to learn too. Don't forget to give it a like and let me know in the comments what other cuts you would like for me to do. I know there's a lot of haircuts out there on YouTube, but hey, everybody has a different style. Don't forget to hit the sub if you are new to this channel. Thank you and God bless.